Making high quality YouTube videos? Not a problem. Let's do this. Alright, so when you're browsing YouTube, you may run into a few gaming videos where the quality just doesn't look that great. One of the main reasons for this is because gaming videos, or specifically first person gaming videos, the frame of reference of the video actually moves a lot, the screen moves a lot, and therefore the video needs a lot of bitrate to keep its quality up. Even though the video may be in 1080p, if the bitrate isn't up to par with the motion that's going on in the video, you're going to have a bad looking video. So how do we fix that? Well normally you just jack up the bitrate on your video and everything would be fine. However, when you upload your video to YouTube, it goes through another encoding process where actually YouTube creates new versions of your video, thus lowering the bitrate to what they want it to be. Instead of our 50 megabits per second gaming video that we actually render on our computers, when we upload it to YouTube and people view it, it's only about three. That's a lot of quality drop. So what do we do? Well, the cap of 1080p videos on YouTube is about three megabits per second. Now that's enough when you're talking about, you know, camera shot videos like this, but when you get into gaming videos where there's a lot of motion, that simply won't cut it. So here's what we'll do. The bitrate for 1440p videos is a lot higher than 1080p videos. So by using this information, we can actually upscale. Yes, I know upscale is a bad thing to do, but if you want better quality, you can upscale your YouTube videos that are naturally 1080p to 1440p before uploading them to YouTube, and therefore you will have a better bitrate on the video that is viewed from your viewers. So instead of the measly 3 megabits per second that your video would be in 1080p when uploaded, if you upload it in 1440p, it'll actually have 8 megabits per second, almost more than double the normal bitrate quality you would get. Keep in mind, this video is not limited to Premiere Pro, however, I will be doing it Premiere Pro. If you want to do it in stuff like, let's say, Sony Vegas Pro, you would input the same settings as I do in Premiere Pro in Sony Vegas. So that's the theory. Let's go ahead and turn that theory into fact, and I'll show you just how this is done in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get into the tutorial. All right guys, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014. Basically, I just opened up a project that I had for my gaming channel. It's just a Minecraft video of me playing the Minecraft survival games. If you wanna check that out, you can go to youtube.com slash theguyardeye and check out my gaming videos there. Um, but anyways, I'm just gonna go over how to export in the highest possible quality for gaming videos here on YouTube um, by utilizing, um, you know, 1440p's better bit rate. So anyways, let's go ahead and go to the export menu. So we're gonna go to file, export, and then media, or you can hit control M on your keyboard. And here we are greeted by the export window. Basically, I'm just going to go over each of the settings that I have, why they're important and what you should put in. So pretty much, I'm just gonna start here at the top. Your format should be in H.264. Um, you know, that's just the best thing uh, compression wise that YouTube supports right now. A lot of people actually do like Windows Media or WMVs. However, this is very debatable. And personally, I think H.264 is a better codec to use when encoding video for uh, internet consumption. So I'm going to go here to H.264. I'm going to have my preset. Well, actually, don't set a preset. I'll show you guys how to save it as a preset later so they can come right back to these settings without having to put them in manually. But I'll do that at the end. Right here, your output name, you want to change that to whatever you want to name the video that you're exporting. And also, you want to select where you're exporting it to. You want to export both your video and your audio unless you have reason not to. And under here, effects, you shouldn't have anything checked, uh, checked unless you want. Um, you know, if you are working with uncolor graded footage and you want to apply a LUT real quick, you can apply that. That's for cameras, uh, not really for gaming what we're doing. You can add an image overlay and post here without the editing. Um, you know, just all this stuff. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using this. Um, I would recommend actually doing these changes in the editor itself, but if you want, they're here. Don't worry about them. Uh, I don't use them. Uh, I don't think you have reason to unless you are looking for something like this. Um, so let's move on to the video tab. This is where the meat of all the sort of customization is going to go into. So anyways, I'm going to uncheck all these boxes uh, that say match source so we can input custom values here. 
Um, so pretty much, I'm just gonna go through these one by one. So first off, before we start putting in resolution, we're gonna have to get rid of the resolution cap of the level, or the bit level of, you know, the compression algorithm. I'm gonna put it to 5.1, and that's gonna allow us to put in resolutions higher than 1080p on H.264 codecs. So you'll see it defaults to 1920 by 1080 because that's what my sequence is in. However, we can upscale in post by putting in a resolution that's higher than that. So I'm gonna put in 2560, and that should when I click out it should automatically uh, create it in that 16 by 9 ratio so 2560 by 1440 that should be a resolution you're rendering in that is 1440p and therefore you will reap the benefits of the higher bit rate of 1440p videos that are re-encoded re on YouTube so that is important um, that's kind of like the main sort of strategy we're employing in this tutorial um, you should set your frame rate to whatever your source footage is. So if I recorded my gameplay in 30 frames per second, I should choose 30. Uh, if I uh, recorded it in 60 frames per second, like I did, I should choose 60. So there you go. Um, square pixels, select that, that's important, otherwise you get an odd shaped video. Uh, NTSC, that is, you know, not as important, but go ahead and select it, otherwise your metrics will be in European. Um, your profile should be high. Make sure it's high. That's very important because, um, you know, otherwise you're you're just you know degrading the quality of your video for no reason. It always makes sense to have your profile as high because uh, YouTube considers that when it re-encodes your video after you're uploading. Um, render at maximum depth. You should have that checked. And your bitrate settings. Here's where the good stuff comes in. Now we're gonna set this insanely high. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're we're just going for the maximum quality. We're not being practical with this. This is the bottom line maximum quality. So we're going to go VBR two pass. Uh, keep in mind, this will make your renders twice as long as it's rendering it twice and actually using it to create a better quality video in the end rather than just doing it one time. Um, and our target bit rate needs to be 50 megabits per second and our uh, maximum should be 75. Now keep in mind this is the absolute maximum you should do. This is for footage that is just moving all over the place kind of like Minecraft because it's first person and you know um, this minigame specifically I'm you know moving my screen around a lot flipping uh, my view around to kind of check behind me so there's a lot of motion going on and it really requires a lot of bitrate because this footage is just very hungry for quality so that's why I'm setting it so high feel free to tone it down if you're doing something less motion intensive however that is why I'm doing it so high uh, your keyframe distance, that's uh, not really important right now. Uh, you can leave that unchecked so it doesn't really consider it, it just does automatic. And down here you want to check maximum render quality, use previews, and if you want frame blending, um, that's personal preference. It's kind of like the resampling mode on um, you know, Sony Vegas, so if you know what that is, you'll know what this button does. If not, just leave it at its default value of unchecked. Alright, I know this is a video tutorial, but I might as well go over the audio while I'm here. Um, AAC, AAC, 4100, uh, mono, unless you're doing stuff with surround sound type stuff. Um, leave it at stereo if you um, are still in question, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. However, if you really want to save file size, although it's just such a little impact compared to the massive settings we did in here, you might as well leave it at stereo. And audio quality, high. And your bit rate should not be this high um, because YouTube limits it anyway. So I go to 128. That's what I do my videos in. All right, and pres uh, precedence should be in bit rate so that you can select bit rate here. Um, otherwise, you know, sample rate. Uh, I go with bit rate. And you know, multiplexer MP4. Don't select uh, 3GPP. Otherwise, you know, because that's a that's a cell phone container and it it, it really doesn't um, do what our settings are any justice. So. Um, stream compatibility should be at standard and then captions if you have some you can mess with them here uh, I obviously don't because it's a gaming video it doesn't really need captions and if you want to render to a file transfer protocol or a server then you can do that here so that's pretty much everything now what you want to do is go ahead and create a preset so that you can come right back to these settings without having to put them in every single time uh, it doesn't look like I actually selected 60 here okay that was odd and our settings went back for some reason. Okay, let me just put that back. Uh, 2560 and 1440. Okay, cool. And it looks like our settings saved this time. I'm just going to kind of 
go back. Okay, I don't know why they didn't save. Double check that before you go and save your profile. I don't know why mine went back, but might as well stay safe and double check yours as well. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and click the save preset button right here. And I'm gonna name this YouTube uh, 1440p 60 FPS high quality. All right, I'm not gonna save it because I already have one, but that's pretty much it. You're gonna click OK and it'll save it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. You're gonna wanna click export and it'll start rendering your video. Keep in mind, it will take a long time and the uploads will also take a long time because the file size will, you know, be around, you know, four gigabytes if it's, uh, you know, uh, 15 minutes long or something like that. The file sizes will be huge, but yet again, this tutorial is for those quality freaks out there that just really want to push the best quality videos to their subscribers. Um, you know, just kind of like I am and what I try to do on my gaming channel. So uh, hopefully this helped you. Hopefully it enlightened you to some things that go on with YouTube and their bitrate policies and all that stuff. Um, hopefully this helps you create better quality videos. Hopefully it earns you subscribers. Hopefully it just impresses your audience. Um, that's really all I have hopes for you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to sla slap a like. And if it helped you out at all, go ahead and share it with a friend because chances are, if you thought it was useful, your friend will find it useful as well. Sharing is caring, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you're new and uh, to be notified when we put up new videos. And pretty much uh, that's it. If you wanna go check out my gaming channel, uh, links are on my channel, um, you know, it's, it'll be off to the side, it'll be a featured channel. And uh, that's pretty much that. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you next week for another tutorial. As always, take it easy. Keep creating.